uh, your home state, you probably know a lot about it, but do you know there is only one man who served in all three branches of Arizona's government? Do you know who it is? Well, the answer is on the other side of this door. If you're looking for a one-of-a-kind <laughs> event, head on over to the state capitol, but I'm guessing yeah. you can't eat these inside Yeah, no, that you probably museum have to eat there. them in the car and then leave them in the car, all right? Because they don't want a big mess at the state capitol. Uh, this is actually really interesting. A pop-up museum exhibit combines fun and learning for the entire family. Lena is live at the Arizona Capitol Museum this morning. Lena, hello. Hello, I have some trivia and some knowledge for you guys. You recognize someone in this photo. I'm pretty sure it is this man. But do you recognize this man? He had a major influence on the law and government here in Arizona. Full disclosure, he also played a role in starting Channel 3. Now, first he was a senator, then he was governor, then he was chief justice of the Arizona Supreme Court. I am talking about Ernest Mac McFarlane. And his grandson, John Lewis, is here. And this room is so exciting because, you know, growing up in the Valley, I thought I had, you know, some pretty good knowledge about the history of Arizona, but this room just opened my eyes to a whole new world, and your grandfather was a huge part of that. Yes, he was. He uh, moved out to Arizona uh, after he was uh, medically discharged from the U.S. Navy, and just, he was a school teacher at the time, mm. and then he uh, got interested in law. He got his law degree and a couple other degrees at Stanford University. When you say got interested in the law, let's talk about that. He played such a major role. We're looking at the GI Bill here. Mm -hmm. We're familiar with that. He wrote the GI Bill. Yes, he did. And Miranda writes, you know, we know them. Oh, you have the right to remain silent. And your grandfather played a major role in that as well. So you were saying one thing that you wanted people to know was that he was a pioneer in his politics and his policies and, and really working for people. He was was fighting for water for the state of Arizona back with um, uh, Carl Hayden, his other senator, wow. uh, way before most people even realized that water was a problem. And he always had his eye on the future. And of course, he loved the law, he loved justice, and he was always trying to create more opportunities for other people. And my grandfather, being a teacher, uh, was also very pro-education and he knew education was the route to a better life and through the GI Bill that's where he got it got an opportunity to give education to a lot of people that otherwise would not have it. Now I do, um, we're, we have about 30 seconds left, but I have to ask you, growing up with Mac, mm -hmm. tell us something that the general public wouldn't know about your grandfather. Was he easy to laugh? Yeah, he was a guy that was always um, he, he, would, he would show me how to do something right. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember I rattled a newspaper machine, a bunch of quarters came out, and I showed him, look, Matt, look what I got out of this newspaper machine. And he came up and said, oh, let me see those. And he took them and he put each one of them back in oh and did what was right, and that was it. I wasn't in trouble or anything. Oh, so. Amazing memory. Thank you so yeah. much for that. And if you want to learn more about Mac or the state of Arizona, come down to the museum in downtown. Open 9 to 4, Monday through Friday, 10 to 2 on Saturday, and it is free. Good history there. Thank you very mm -hmm. much. Nice little history mm -hmm. lesson.